<laughs> Samantha Johnson knows tactile sign language, a version of sign language used by some in the deafblind community. Deafblind people communicate through tactile signing, also known as hand over hand signing. So the deafblind person holds onto the back of the hand of the signer and receives the signs into their palm directly. When the pandemic struck, Johnson wondered what it meant for those who rely on the touch based method of communication. Because interpreting services stopped, social distancing was in place, the millions of deafblind Americans didn't have access to communication. She and her team of engineers at Tatum Robotics came up with the Tatum T1, a robotic hand that can sign letters of the American Sign Language Alphabet. Our goal is to develop the first assistive communication tool for the deafblind community that prioritizes tactile sign. It's currently made with all flexible components, which kind of serves two purposes. Not only does it really mimic a human hand, so it's really easy for the deafblind person to acclimate to its signing, but it's also really safe. Johnson says the T1 will connect to the cloud to translate any text-based content. So that could be emails, websites, ebooks, and what it does is it will take that content, it will translate it out of English and into ASL, and then output it for the deafblind user. Jamie Lard is completely deaf and has very little vision. She relies on tactile signing and an interpreter to communicate. In the absence of an interpreter, the T1 can serve as a stand-in and translate words typed into a connected laptop. It said, hi, my name is Tina. It's still in development, but Johnson hopes the device will ultimately provide greater independence and connection. The deafblind person's at home, they're very isolated. They don't have access to entertainment or their community the way that we take advantage of. Technology that can truly be a helping hand. Tina Trin, VOA News, Boston. Thank you.